it's a lady in London here and today I want to take you on a tour of London's Notting Hill. This is one of the most colorful and exciting areas of London and it's a really popular place to visit. I'm going to show you seven places that I love in the area and a lot of other secret spots besides. Notting Hill is known for its colorful houses from Denby Terrace to the colorful Crescents to the Rainbow Row on Lancaster Road. There's no shortage to be found here. One of the most fun things to do in Notting Hill is to walk around and just take in all the colors. The market on Portobello Road is one of the biggest draws to Notting Hill, and for good reason. There's all kinds of things to look at and buy here. From antiques, to collectibles, to souvenirs, and more, there's everything you could possibly want. The market gets really crowded on Saturdays, so I recommend coming on a different day. But if you have to come on a Saturday, come in the morning and you'll enjoy avoiding the crowds. Another big draw to Notting Hill is the Muse Streets. The most famous of them is St. Luke's Muse, which has the pink house that featured in the movie Love Actually. But there are a lot more to discover too, and one of the most fun things to do is wander around the neighborhood and duck down the little streets to see what you find. Notting Hill also has its share of great restaurants and cafes, from pretty biscuit shops where you can have tea and cake and obviously biscuits, to restaurants where you can have cuisine from all over the world, to pubs that serve great traditional pub food. There's something here for everyone. While Portobello Road is famous with visitors, locals tend to flock to Westburn Grove. This street is known for its great restaurants, cafes, and shops. And if you want a really authentic view of the neighborhood, I recommend coming here and taking in the scene. Oh,
Another great thing about Notting Hill is that it has a lot of bookshops. From the bookshop that was inspired by the movie Notting Hill, to a bookshop specifically dedicated to cookbooks, to independent bookshops, this area has a lot of great places to browse and buy. If you love exploring Notting Hill streets, you'll like my self-guided walking tour of Notting Hill. There's a link in the description of this video, or you can go on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and search for Notting Hill Walk. I hope you've enjoyed exploring Notting Hill. It's a great part of London and well worth a visit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com.